Welcome to our match preview of our Minnesota United match in the Carolina Challenge Cup on Wednesday. I'm AJ, this is Tanner McLeod. Before we get into it, become part of the notification squad by hitting the bell next to the subscribe button. Good news guys, we don't have to wait very long to put away that negative result against Columbus this past weekend because Minnesota United, 7.30 on Wednesday, I really want to beat them. We have a 1-1 one to -one, uh, win-loss right now and I think in the Carolina Challenge Cup, obviously it's preseason, so it's, you know, the result doesn't really matter that much, but I think we will have a better showing in this match, especially after that Columbus Crew match. It's, uh, you know, we'll have something to prove. And our squad will probably be much changed because after a Saturday to a Wednesday, there is going to be a little bit of that recovery time. But also, I mean, with that Charleston Battery game, it'll be... Possibly because uh, they are a USL side, they might play a weekend side. So uh, it's going to be very interesting who they're going to start. Yeah, I mean, it's also, again, this is this is a match fitness thing. And even yeah. the big clubs in their summer tours, you know, they'll have games in close proximity. And, you yeah. know, most times they'll play 45 minutes a half for their mm -hmm. teams. But they need these games right now just to get that match fitness because, mm -hmm. you know, playing against another MLS side, even though they might not be that great, I mean, they lost to Charleston Battery in their first match. Yeah. You know, you need that match fitness. You need to play. You need a chance to play against, you know, other teams to build up, you know, that, that chemistry we talked about in our Five Strike mm -hmm. Weekly, you know, and I hope that this is a game that they can really get some confidence in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have no love lost for their head coach at all. I don't like him. I think he's... A bit of a well insert not nice thing here and you know I, I just don't rate him and yeah. he won't be the only you know somewhat familiar face we'll see this week absolutely yeah we'll have Tyrone Mears we'll have his son Harrison Heath who both made their way to Minnesota and yeah uh, I mean to be honest I mean these are two guys that we weren't really picturing into our starting squad at all Whichever side Mears is on, attack that one. Exactly. If I've learned anything from watching him, whichever side he's on, yeah. that's the way to go. Because he's not tracking back. No, his that's... positioning is, I mean, in my opinion, he was partly responsible for the winning goal that Minnesota scored in that game because sure. he was way too far up and then he didn't close the guy down and gave him too much space to get that cross in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, that'll he'll play on the right, so that'll be Barco. Yeah. Have fun Ooh. with that. That could be tasty. Absolutely. Ooh. So, so yeah, it's a you know it's a match that we're very much looking forward to, and of course we have a couple of questions in terms of who's actually still injured or maybe just uh, held out as a precautionary. Michael Parkhurst, Franco Escobar, Greg Garza, even. So we don't know if they're gonna make Tito. their way into yeah, and Tito Vishalba. I haven't course. seen him yet. <laughs> yeah, and so these guys need to build up match fitness, and if they're not playing yet. I'm, I'm slightly worried. Yes, I don't want to see them picking up a knock, you know, even in preseason and not getting to play. And I mean, right. there's even, you know, there's still those younger players that we haven't seen play them as much. And I, yeah. I think they'll probably get more against Charleston, and we'll get into that, yeah. you know, when we have our preview come out for that match. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's another game. I like when they come thick and fast like this in preseason because yeah. you don't worry about results. I mean, mm -hmm. even, you know, LGP said so after the match, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's, it's about fitness. You know, they, yeah. they, they're getting together and learning as a team. So, mm -hmm. You know, I'd like to see some of these other players play and see what they can offer and, mm -hmm. you know, as well as, you know, see those starters start to build that chemistry and put goals past teams that I'd really like to see them put goals past. And as Tasa Martino said, that we just really need to work on our finishing, you know, getting those chances put in in the final third because, well, clearly we just didn't do that in the last match except for Miggy, who probably against a tiring Columbus side was able to put it in so I mean but on the flip side that's when a lot of goals are also scored so that's it guys that's our match preview remember you can watch it on atlucd.com slash live and on being sports because they're broadcasting the entire event so that's awesome but that is it guys so for Tanner McLeod I'm AJ remember to like share and subscribe the video thank you guys so much for watching yeah.